Good morning, Facebook. Hello, everybody. How is your Tuesday morning? How is your Tuesday morning? I'm going to give you all a minute to build it up. I'm going to give you a minute since it's a delay. Good morning on this rainy Tuesday morning in Georgia. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to drink some coffee. All right. I'm going to get started. Um, as, as everybody know, we had a successful event, um, the Push to Dream Conference. We had an awesome, an awesome event. And it was the inaugural event. And I just, I am so grateful for that for that event and I'm so grateful that we were able to it for it to be a success. We had people there that, you know, were once having their dreams not fulfilled. Um first of all, let me go back and, and say who I am. My name is Sandy Lewis. Hey mother <laughs> my name is Sandy Lewis and I am a business and success coach. You, if you need my services which I help you to brand, I help you to strategize, I help you to create, I help you to help you with your operations of your businesses and my website. You go to it at www.sandybizcoach.com. Check me out and contact me or you can contact me through email. You can go to my contact page and I will help you to get your business up and running and what I want to this conversation this morning, what I want to say is what I have learned. Thank you for the likes and thank you for joining. Now, with our conference that we had, I know it was a personal and professional, um, a professional seminar. It, it, we got so many. We had life, um, life skills. We learned so much, and all of them. And I'm sure y'all been seeing the clips where it was so much information that was given. It was so much information that was what, what that was shared and. My one of my mentors said, I Greg said this. Greg is my new mentor. Greg Walker, the big dreamer, he's one of my new mentors. I heard Greg say, The gift is before giving is before the word receiving. So you have to first give and before you receive. And with what and with that being said, is we have so many gifts inside of us, guys, and we have to give back before we can ever receive anything out of out of life and then once you do that that's just the formula for you getting everything you want so you know be freely to give this is this is just one thing that i've learned just be give and then you will receive hey thesha hey thesha thesha's gonna be at the second conference and i have learned so much with putting this conference together and i will be doing a webinar in about a week i may wait to after christmas but i am working on the webinar now so you look out for that in the next few, you know, next week, and I will let I will post it and let you know because I, I I definitely do I want you to um from I'm, and I'm teaching from experience I'm not teaching from textbook I'm gonna give you the do's and the don'ts the can and the can'ts the wants and the wills all of that I'm gonna give you the whole rundown of how to <laughs> how to create a successful um conference seminar or workshop so I'm, I'm you know look forward to that in the next few days and you know and I know everybody is kind of in the holiday mode and because the conference is just over I had a lot going on before the conference and I said once I finish it I'm going to get back on social media every day giving you tools and nuggets because when those when those, when that team what I got out of that conference Saturday for the most part and we're going to try to piece some things together and also guys if you go to my YouTube page you will still see some stuff that I'm posting on clips of of the event um you can just go um YouTube push the dream and it should come up but i'm just i'm putting little things out there and just letting you see the dynamic speakers and all of them had so many different stories guys and they had so i'm sure that some of you have the same struggles the same experiences that that they had but they didn't give up they didn't stop they didn't waver they kept their circle small 
they they persevered and like I, I mentioned to you the other day they trust God they believed in God and they did they listened to that inner voice and they and they never gave up on their dream they never gave up on what they wanted to do they never gave up on what they were created to do and and what push the dream our mission is all about is empowering empowering and promoting and supporting professional and personal growth pledging to assist in transforming lives from a condition of lack into a life of abundance and that's what push the dream was about and we delivered saturday everybody came there got something that they said that they needed and that's what conferences do a lot of uh, most of the time it's just that you know i advise you just in the future to invest in yourself more every time you if you can if there's a conference out there and you feel like you can attend that conference attend it attend that conference and, and not only conferences just you guys the library is free go in and start reading and and basically educating yourselves on creating a life that life that abundant life for yourself creating a life and really keep all distractions away from you because i'm gonna tell you sometimes when you're working and you got that momentum going when you when you're trying to live a different life you're gonna always have something that's gonna try to block you but keep going don't don't look at that don't look to the left don't look to the right just keep looking forward and, and keep that fire burning on the inside of you but because whatever you were created to do you just if you focus on that it'll come into it god will manifest it it'll have to come to pass because that's just the law this is the law of the universe if you give what they say um if you put in if you put something in you you're getting you go you down to get something out so you got to do the work and make things happen for you and what else i want to say is you know Coming up to the New Year's, I know that we are we we, we want to do everything else but plan plan for our future. Get guys, please just focus more on what you need to do to be able to have that abundant life. Just focus on what you need to do. Just that that personal and that, that personal development that is so important too as well. Because even when I'm coaching and I'm talking to my clients, before I can help them realize that success awaits them they have to really realize that they can achieve success and they have to really realize that it is a success is achievable whatever they desire is achievable but they have to first get rid of those limiting beliefs because you know a lot of people that was in the at the event and the speakers there some of them they had struggles they were right where you are they were right where some of us were you know and i have been there before they were at the brink of just giving up but that burning desire and the change that shift in their mindset and those limited beliefs came change ivan oh my goodness follow ivan leaguer l-e-g-e-r he is a dynamic man and he was one of the speakers and his energy his just being in his presence because we always seeing each other on social media and his presence being in the midst of him i was so busy trying to make sure the event was fine we really didn't have a ch chance to sit down to talk but we ate that we had dinner that friday night and we really just enjoy each other we were really sitting there it was david david and i and tommy and um ivan and and the kids and and greg was there so we just really poured into each other we had a good we had good conversation and that's what we we got to be a we got to continue to be around more like-minded people, everybody. We really do. We really have to be around more like-minded people. Thank you, Ivan. You are amazing, too. You are amazing, my my brother. Ivan, Ivan is, he, you know, I tell you. And Thesha, that Thesha will be at the second one. And Ivan, I sure hope you're going to be able to come back to the second one, too, as well. I sure hope. We're, as a matter of fact, we're going to get Tommy and I, and um, we're going to meet, we're going to meet this week because we're going to, we're going to go ahead and start planning this, the next one um, for 2017. We got to go ahead and get things, you know, get things moving so where we can put it out there and those, it can be more, um, Everybody can have more time to, to plan for it and make sure they be there. Because I'm going to tell you, we have to continue to grow everybody. We have to continue to keep growing 
keep make keep adding value keep adding value to the community keep adding value to the world keep just keep having value because you know i'm just gonna you know like our topics was rg talked about current and currency of dreams then eight soul eight the eight soul secrets to success then getting unleashed i haven't talked about getting unleashed and if you want to Maybe Ivan can sit down and talk to you a little bit, but Ivan's not going to tell you everything um, that he talked about at the seminar because you could, you should have been there. But and then, are you Monica? Are you ready to step into the arena? And we even talked about money and emotions. And then Shirley Lou talked about know the seven powerful benefits of your retirement savings account and that you should have. All of these things are just a part of your success, whether it's personal or professional. And 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 Maria, when she gave that when she when she talked about money and emotions, man, I mean it was just so powerful to learn because we all know we we need money. We we really need money so this we don't we don't have to sit around here and say that you know think that you know how we say that um we've been told and conditioned money is the root of all evil and all that kind of stuff no we need money the love of money is the root of all evil money is not evil so we have to change those limiting beliefs and i believe so way we can start um we can start going towards our our thing the success in life that that is that so awaits us so um, and also, I think with David, he talked about the golden time management, the X factors of success. So all of us, all the speakers there brought so much, so much to the table. And our lives would, would not be the same. I mean, and then the big dreamer, he, he came up and did his, he, he spoke too as well. So we just had, we, we really did. We had, we had so much. Yeah, we, money is a tool. You're right, Thesha. Money is a tool. Because, yeah, we need money and we need tools. You know what we, You know what you do with tools, right? It's necessary. Exactly. Tool, uh, money, Thesha said money is a tool. Money is a tool. Because when you when you need something fixed, you need tools, right? Money money can fix a lot of things. Money can help you. You know, money can, money can fix homelessness. Money can fix hunger. Because you need money to buy food. Hunger, I mean, money can fix... Yeah, money can fix um, pretty much education because you need to spend money to get educated. You know, the public education is not where your education stops. If, if, if you're not going to a private school of some sort of, you're not getting higher education. Money can expand your life. Money, money is something that you need to invest in. Money is something that we need to make make our um, get to us to the next level. Money is something that will allow us to grow personally and professionally so you know don't think that we don't need money but we you know and everything to us can't be free 99 okay free it's free sometimes free for a lot of us the psychology of free has no value free doesn't really have a value yeah when you when you give somebody something for free they don't value it think about it guys we we got a free mind we got a mind we have something free that god has given us and it's our mind and yet we don't use that properly we don't take it and expand it we don't grow it we feel like you know i rather see i see so <laughs> be sure you're laughing at me i see so many posts of parties we going to we having a good time we shaking our booties we doing this we doing that it's time for it's time out for all of that yeah all that stuff is it, it, it's irrelevant now because I'm going to tell you, 2017, even at the seminar, we had one speaker there. She used to work for the CIA. She told us, she said, let me tell y'all. She said, you better, li you better start living your dreams. She said, because it's time. Things going to shift in 2017. It's time for us to get off these couches, get out of these television programs. Get out of the get into the positive mindset of creating things for our families. And if you some of you want to, if you don't mind, if you want to share this, please share this Facebook Live because you know I am sick and tired of seeing people living below their expectations. I'm sick and tired of seeing that. That's why Sandy, 
<laughs> Thank you, Orlando. That's why I am on this Facebook Live. And my coach, Alicia Jenkins, she started with me in July of this year. And already God has taken me through different to different heights. And I met Alicia through Danielle Willingham. I'm giving Danielle Willingham a shout out because it was because of her that I was allowed to meet Alicia Jenkins. And see, let me tell you this right here, everybody. Some of those... Everybody at that conference already, they're making connections with the millionaires that were there. I, I was talking to a few people last night and it was like, you know, Sandy, thank you so much for even use, you know, allowing God to use you. I had so many obstacles, guys, in the way I wanted to just cancel the, I wanted to cancel the seminar because, the, because of how I had to change the venue. I went through so many things in regarding this conference, but I'm going to tell you in another week or so, I'm, I'm going to do a webinar so where I can teach anybody that want to do a seminar. I'm, I'm going to teach this from experience and I've been diligently working every aspect of of this sim of this conference, I have really been working in the do's and the don'ts. And I'm telling you, if you have any organization guys going on, you get out there and you you, you start doing conferences. You start connecting people together because we've been connected a lot. Stop connecting in these stores. Stop connecting in the malls, spending all your money. Start investing in your children. I had my grandson with me. David had his son there with him. There were other teenagers that came up there to the event. We have got to change the way we treat our legacies. Even that too. We got to start, we got to start doing things that's going to make a difference in the lives of our young people. We got to start making a difference and in, in creating a legacy for us. We got to sit back and we got to stop spending our money, stop wasting our times just watching this old reality TV stuff and all of these old shows that don't ain't put nothing in our in our psyches and we live in these these old wretched lives <laughs> and we, we we're doing everything that's you know just just not pleasing to our characters and we we're doing things that just just it's just awful it, it, it you know we got to stop just living like that guys we got to start doing things doing things in uh doing things of um of excellence call you back i'm on facebook <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. She's called me twice, so I just want to let her know I was okay. But uh, anyway, um, I appreciate... I appreciate the um, the speakers, and like I said, they poured into our lives. But yeah, what I was saying is we we have got to we got we we have got to stop feeding our minds with all of this. I understand entertainment. Yeah, yeah, y'all like TV. You like to go to shows. There's nothing wrong with entertainment. There's nothing wrong with it. But I, a lot of us, too many of us, we consume our lives with this garbage. That's all it is. It's garbage, and what it is 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 if you ever do some research about what you watch and let me tell you something if let me there is the sum that is a saying you tell me who you're the five people you hang around and i tell you you who you are in a in, a, in another way to put that you are the sum total of the five people five that you hang around sit down get you a sheet of paper and see and just say let me see who are the five people i hang around who are the five people I'm associated with? This this is who you are. Because let me tell you something. Like um Greg mentioned at the um Eagles doesn't fly with pigeons. Eagles doesn't associate with, with pigeons. And pigeons are down here low. Because you know, and I'm not trying to put anybody down, but what I'm saying is sometimes we put ourselves down. Don't misunderstand what I'm saying here. I'm not calling anybody or belittling anyone what i'm saying is people that are they're not dreamers people are, that are negative in your life people that cause strife in your life people that are just trifling you know as some people would say you don't need them in your circle you need to get rid of these people in it at least in your inner circle and don't you love them still love them but they can't be in your 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 they can't be reachable they can't be where they can approach you in a way that you um they can they can have access to you is what i'm trying to say so easily so you have to keep them at a distance and love everybody. Yeah, because you can love. I love plenty of people at a distance. And I find it's better 
for me. It's better for my vision. It's better for my purpose. It's better for my goals. It's better for the plans and the and the visions that God has given me. And it's better for the de destiny. And it's better for the purpose of my life. It's better for those dreams that he's created me to you know, created me for. So, you know, thank you, Morris. So what I am saying to you guys, just do, um, what I want to say here. I, Cause I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm trying that. I'm so passionate this morning. I really just don't want to sound like I'm just being fussy a little bit, but what I want to say is, um, <laughs> you know, I learned so thank you, Tisha. Cause I had to come back there for a minute. Thank you. <laughs> But what I'm saying is, I see, let me tell y'all something too. When back in June, no, no, July, Thisha can tell you herself, when I was, I knew what my purpose was, but I was afraid, just like you guys are. I was afraid to get out there, afraid of how I would look to people, afraid of how I, would, I was so nervous when I first did my first Facebook Live. And Thisha, she coached me through it. She she talked me through it and she let me, she helped me to see the value that I added to the universe. She helped me to see that value that I had. And when I realized that for myself, I was able to feel comfortable with getting out here, giving y'all my gift to help you with your gift. Now, I, I, I can't touch the, you know, I mean, I can't help the entire world. I could, but I'm, what I'm not saying is, I can't, there's only, I, it's so many, so many, uh, it's a segment that God has allowed me to help. But you may be that other person that those that I can't help, you may be that person that you were created to help. So live your purpose. Find out what you were created for. Find out what you need to be, what, what contribution or what value that you have for this world. And start being about the business of doing it. That's all I'm saying to you. And that's what Push the Dream is about. It's pushing your dreams. Find out why you were created. Find out, because your, your dreams, it's not going to sleep and, and, and then waking up. You know, going to sleep and then what that what you have. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Tisha. It's not, dreams are not just going to sleep and then that, that what transpired between you know, your time sleeping before you wake up. I'm not talking about that dream. That dream that you were created, you were created to make an impact, a difference in the universe. Hey, Gary, that dream that you were created for, or you were created, what that, that thing that when you were born, there, no matter what you went through between now and then, that has prepared you. For what you need to be doing. Whether you've started doing it or not. Just stop walking around just existing. You know, I think if we were all living on purpose. We wouldn't have so many incarcerated, incarceration. We wouldn't, have, we wouldn't have so much violence. We wouldn't have so much. We wouldn't have so much hatred. We wouldn't have so, much, so many other things that's going on. Because everybody, for the most part. When all of that stuff is going on, y'all, the underlying thing, it's just frustration. Everybody, you be, you're frustrated when you're sitting there and, and you're not, oh, thank you, Gary. Thank you. You know that mean the world to me, Gary. Thank you. Yes, but if you just, just stay, just stay, I mean, just stay true to you. No matter what, who, who tell you you can't do it. There's a lot of things. That, you know, I was doubtful about years ago. There was a lot of times that I, I, you know, I find myself in relationship and situations that wasn't, wasn't good for me. But then it was, it was also causing me, my dream to just deteriorate. Don't let anything or anybody, don't let anything in anybody, guys, keep you from that life, that dream, your dream gives you life. I'm, I'm willing to bet you, anybody you talk to, and it, if, if you ask them, are they living their dream, and they tell you yes, you just watch how powerful they feel, how free they feel. 
You, you know, you, and that's another thing. We're not free until we live our dreams. We're not free until we live that own purpose thing, whether it's whatever it is. Everybody can't, don't want to be an entrepreneur. Everybody, you know, we can't have everybody. Yes, protect your dream. You have to protect your dream. And you have to protect your dream by asking God for the will or for your life. Because I'm going to tell you from experience, I'm not talking to you from textbook theory. The enemy will speed up his devices and his forces once you step into once you walk into that dream that God has for you you're going to have all kind of adversaries you're going to have all kind of distraction you're going to have the enemy coming at you so fast and so forceful to you you will be swimming in you will be swimming in dizziness and you'll be wondering what is going on but you have to be rooted and grounded that's why you need personal development. That's why you need, you know, you need to know what direction you need a plan for your life because you're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to be knocked off sometimes. At least some things will try to knock you off your path. That's why every speaker that was at the event Saturday said that some of them had stories. They lost everything. But when God revealed to them in the direction to walk and they were obedient to what he said, they got it all back. So if you're going through a storm, guys, if you don't have, you know, you don't have the finances that you want, just keep on living, keep on trusting, keep on believing, keep on doing, keep on treating people good, keep on being, being that person of, um, of a moral, um, um, have of a more morally, that morally right person, just, just, just keep your morals straight. And don't do anything to hurt. Just remember, guys, what goes around comes around. And we reap what we sow. So sow good seed in the ground. So where you can harvest good seed. And, and purpose is so important, guys, now than ever. If you notice everybody, you know, this is what's this is really what's going on. This is why everybody is so miserable. You have, you have, you know, project houses that a lot of people are in. You know, I, I my heart goes out to them because think about it. They have lived in these conditions for year after year. You have second and third generation of people living in the projects. And my, I, I mean, I, I feel I'm so, it makes me cry. I want to cry because they are so trapped in their minds. They trap, they think that that government assistance, that's the only way they have out. And then they're bringing up children children that's going to probably live that same lifestyle if nothing doesn't change if they don't start living their dreams their next generation probably won't be able to live theirs because they don't know what they don't even know about dreams they don't know anything differently than the things that they they've been taught they don't know anything different so what i'm saying to you guys just live on purpose. Be on purpose. Live on purpose. Please. Just do, do this life on purpose. Find out why were you created. It ain't hard to do. You probably already know. Start being about the business and doing it. Get your finances in order. Get your health in You know, get your, your if anybody... If you 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 know you have a job and you you're trying to say what if something happened to you you have children get your retirement plans together know that if something happened to you your family will be taken care of no yes push the drink I'm telling you just just please make sure that you got it all worked and you you if you don't have it all worked out with with how just start planning just start doing it. i mean your whole from your families you know if something happens to you your children you know will they be taken care of and all this kind of thing i can remember when my kid's father passed away december the 19th he'll be dead 29 years we were dating at the time and we were getting married that next year and i remember he and i had a talk about my you know he said if something happens to me you know, my daughter, he had her on his, his, you know, his, his, um, his job. He, 
he had it, he had her on his insurance at his job. But however, he didn't have everything lined up correctly and everything went to his mom because we was not yet married. Now, saying that, to say this, so that left me in an awkward situation because he didn't have his business taken care of. But he had it in his mind to take care of it. His intent was good. But you guys, we got to go and take care of these things. We can't just be thinking about them. Make sure your children and your wife or husband will be taken care of. You know, if something happened to you. So if anything happened to you, you know, just sit. You got to sit down and plan. Your, you got to do your um your assessment of your you know, building your legacy. You you got to do, you got to have all of that stuff into place. You know, your medical, your health insurance, your, you know, your disability insurance. All of this stuff is so important too. You got to have all of this stuff in place. Don't have it so where somebody have to bury you. <laughs> you know, somebody will have to bury you and then they got to take um the hat around in church. Or, you know, they got to have a GoFundMe a account in order to do it. And, and make sure, you know, always every now and then keep up with, with what's going on with your, with your, um, with your policies. Make sure, you know, you know what's going on with them and make sure they up to date periodically. Just, just check on them. You know, we have got to take responsibility. We have got to be managers of our personal and our professional lives, development, and push the dream has proven that this is what we're here to do. The first inaugural event was a success and we are planning for the second one. So I hope those that are out there want to know, want to get educated, that the next one you be there. You be there to it. You be there. And I, you know, and if you can't, um, that's, uh, that's understandable too. Maybe you'll be able to come to the next one. But, we are being Atlanta again for this second one. And after this second one, we're taking it on the road in other cities. So I'm looking forward to that and that alone. But I just thank y'all. I just want to come here and say some a few things to you. I thank you for allowing me to um to be to you know to take up a little bit of your time this morning. And if anybody need me, contact me on the website, www.sandybeescoach.com. I appreciate you for being here and thank you so much. And y'all, yeah, you guys have a wonderful day and remember to live your dreams, push your dreams. If you need me, I'm here for you. But if, if it's not me, I don't care who you contact. If you need help, remember you can't do us all by yourself. Contact somebody to help you push your dream. And you have a wonderful Tuesday, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here, and thank you for listening. It means the world to me, and I hope I help someone to just make a decision, to just take a step forward and continue and go to the next level. All righty, bye-bye.